script injection for ACS. First, drop in the mechanic tool script and touch to connect to the vehicle. OK, choose script injection. Then choose inject root scripts. Then let's go with the stock bike install, and wait for the 5 main root prim scripts to inject. Those are the engine, root settings, root tools, root set, and menu. Scripts injected into the root prim don't require any additional setup steps other than setting their permissions. Most ACS scripts go into the root, but there are some like will scripts that go into non-root prims and will require an additional step, so you may find it faster to add non-root scripts by hand. Looks like they all made it in there. Needs at least one animation file and the permissions set. Under the content tab, use the permissions button to set all of the permissions at once. Only copy should be checked, and hit the apply button. You can also right click on a script and choose properties to set the permissions. Normally you want to reboot the vehicle to sync up the root scripts and then test that the root scripts are drivable before adding more, but let's go to the script injection menu, and inject the fixed wheel scripts into the tire and rim prims. Select inject fixed wheel, then touch the target prim. The bike would be drivable as is with the root scripts and animation in and the script permissions set, but since we are injecting non-root scripts as well instead of placing them in by hand, an additional setup step will be required. Fixed wheel scripts are for wheels that spin, but do not steer. For front car wheels that steer on turns, use the pivoting wheel scripts. And, as long as we are injecting, I am going to add the belt drive and chain drive scripts to the appropriate prims from the inject additional scripts menu. The main optional system scripts such as the lights, graphics, turn system and particle system for exhaust and burnout go into the root. But ACS has a few non-root scripts as well as wheels, such as the belt and chain drive animation scripts as well as component vibrators and the propeller used for spinning prims in place. Since the inject additional scripts menu is up, I'm also injecting the particle system script to the root. It contains all the particle routines for things like exhaust and burnout smoke and triggers them in prims based on their keywords. See the particle system video and instructions. Looks like the scripts are in the prims OK. I'm going to set the permissions on them then get to the final injection step. For that step we will be taking the vehicle into inventory re resing it, and then recompiling the scripts from the viewer toolbar. Second Life does not allow scripts to be remotely injected into non-root prims in a running state without manual intervention. This prevents people from injecting malicious scripts into your objects. Pro builders will find it faster and more convenient to place the scripts by hand. Okay. I'm taking it into inventory and re-resing it. Then select the vehicle, and from your viewer toolbar, choose Build, Scripts, and then recompile scripts to Mono. Then go get a cup of coffee while this cell does its thing. This process unfortunately resets script memory, you would lose your sit positions, turn system memory, and category names for color system and fixtures. So if you must use injection for non-root scripts, do it before setting up those other things.
Okay, skipping ahead a minute or so, I can now jump on and ride. You will have to set your initial sit position from the vehicle position menu. Close enough for testing. Looks like the belt drive and the front wheels are spinning okay. Uh oh, the back wheel didn't make it. Let me double check the permissions. Sometimes SL misses some permissions when you set the whole link set from the object contents tab. I will set this one by hand. Okay, talk to you later.